bringing it home now to our community. One local organization working hard to provide community events to the RGV all year long. And Danielle's got the details on how we can take part in all of those events, right, Danielle? Yes, and this, these are for the kiddos, but we can have fun there too. Of course not. Hey, <laughs> it's fun when our kiddos have something to do. That's so, so true. And this <laughs> involves lots of colors, lots of food, lots of stuff going on here, Daisy. The Children's Museum of, of uh, Fine Art is excited because they're going to be hosting so many different festivities for us all to join in on, like we just said. And that includes a special Lucha Libre Mexicana event that's going to be action-packed and super Super thrilling for sure. They're also going to be having plenty of things for the kiddos specifically to do this summer. I mean, we're talking an entire summer safari event, and it's so exciting because the children can definitely attend different summer camps and classes. Now, each one is going to focus on a variety of topics, and it will, of course, be very educational as well as entertaining. And there will also be a straight safari sleepover portion of the event, which is going to be extra fun. And that's on top of things like puppet shows and so many activities for the kids to participate participate in. I mean, that means games, story time, arts and crafts, plus special tours of the museum. There are also going to be seven whole weeks of fun that the kids and your whole family can choose from. And most of the workshops and the courses are going to have art supplies and musical instruments and t-shirts already included. So that means all you have to do is bring your snacks, maybe a bottle of water, drinking water and some messy clothes. That way you can get the kids super creative and have fun without worrying about anything. So that sounds like fun to you, then definitely be sure to visit their team at their East Ringgold Street location in the city of Brownsville for all of the details. You can also check out their website for a layout of all the excitement that definitely awaits. And again, guys, we're talking seven weeks of fun. And for me, I'm stuck between the safari and the planetarium. I know which one Chris is choosing. I mean, <laughs> which one, Chris? The planetarium, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy? I mean, I'll choose anything that keeps my child entertained. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's everything. Yeah, that's everything. You know, keep them busy, keep them uh, active yeah it's hard for some of us moms because you know we don't get a big old summer break so yeah. it's good to have all of these choices to enroll our kiddos so they can keep their brains rolling a little bit we don't want them to go back to school and be like oh starting at blank yeah <laughs> and i remember going to s summer camp and i was so scared and didn't want to do it but mm -hmm. once i was there I did not regret it. I had so much fun. Yeah, mm. and you meet other people. The yes. kids get to make friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. they forget all about it and they just engage <laughs> and that's great. Yes. Yeah. It's great for meeting other people. That exposes them well to, you know, learning how to build those relationships and working well with others. So. Yeah, it's wonderful. very cool. <laughs> Children's Museum in Browns are always doing great stuff. A hundred percent. We love that. Thanks, yeah. Danny. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up, a Valley police officer races against the clock to save a child's life. We'll tell you what happened to that child.